That summer, the sky filled with ash. The sunlight became increasingly faint, and the temperature started to fall all over the planet. It was a year when the harvests were ruined. Rainfall tripled in some areas around the world, and it snowed copiously in some places close to the equator. Renting out a villa in Switzerland on the shores of Lake Geneva was not necessarily a good idea. All of us who went there were somehow fleeing our past, and yet we knew nothing of what would take place there, nor of the intentions of a darkness which I had no choice but to exaggerate in a poem. I had a dream, which was not all a dream. The bright sun was extinguished, and the stars did wander darkling in the eternal space, rayless and pathless, and the icy earth swung blind and blackening in the moonless air. Morn came and went, and came and brought no day and men forgot their passions in the dread of this their desolation, and all hearts were chilled into a selfish prayer for light, and they did live by watchfires, and the thrones, the palaces of crowned kings, the huts, the habitations of all things which dwell, were burnt for beacons. Cities were consumed and men were gathered round their blazing homes to look once more into each other's face. Happy were those who dwelt within the eye of the volcanoes and their mountain torch. A fearful hope was all the world contained. Forests were set on fire, but hour by hour they fell and faded, and the crackling trunks extinguished with a crash and all was black. That is the darkness in which I was created. started as a game, like the majority of nightmares that you don't quite understand. Since then, too many things have happened in the world. Empires and nations have fallen, never-ending wars, all the songs of ice and fire. the delicate bond that connects all living creatures. Your interpretations regarding my condition, regarding what I am and I am not, are numerous. I have served you as an example of a noble savage, and at the same time I have inhabited your worst nightmares. Two hundred years have passed, yet still you cannot name me. You have created me without a name. You have converted me into a perverse and polymorphous myth. But the question still stands. Are you prepared to play at being God?
The planet has become diseased, and the end of the world clock is not stopping. You invoke me for everything that has turned out badly, but remember, you created me. I am thy creature. I ought to be thy Adam, but I am rather the fallen angel, whom thou drivest from joy for no misdeed. I was benevolent and good. Misery has made me a fiend. Make me happy, and I shall again be virtuous. Will you be capable of loving your monsters? In the spring of 1315 There began an era of unpredictable weather It did not lift until 1851 You remember 1816 as the year without a summer June 1816 A sudden snow Storm blankets all the countryside So Mary Shelley had to stay inside And she wrote Frankenstein Oh, 1816 Was a year without a summer 